Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can convert your Raspberry Pi into a web conferencing device. You can access all the leading web conferencing apps now directly from your Raspberry Pi and you can use them easily. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and install them on your machine with simple clicks. And once the installation complete, you can just access all these apps from your application manager. So let's do it. First of all, to install all the apps, what we need to do, we need to install this particular application that is Pi apps. This is a combination of lots of apps in this particular application. So what we need to do, we just need to double click on it and click on execute. Once we click on execute, it will open this menu in front of us. We can just select all apps from here. And the first app that we are going to install is Microsoft Teams. That is the popular platform now. So you can just scroll down and, and look for Microsoft Teams. And it's right here. We need to just double click on it and then we need to click on install. So it will automatically download all the files required to install Microsoft Teams. And once the Teams is installed, we will find it in the application manager from here. So let's wait. Once it's complete, then we will move forward for the next application. Now the Microsoft Teams is installed and we can check out the Microsoft Teams from the application and uh, Internet. You can see Teams for Linux. We can just click on it and it will take us to the sign in screen. I need to sign in here. We just need to select the second option and it will open right here in front of us. You can see I'm logged in. So this is working absolutely fine. I recommend you to use the Raspberry Pi camera on Raspberry Pi or you can use any compatible cam, a USB cam for your online meetings. Now the second thing that we are going to check is the second application is Zoom. So let's just move down and here you can see Zoom. So the application is uh, the method is simple. We just need to double click and then click on install. And it will again start downloading all the required files for Zoom software. Once the file downloaded on the computer, it will give us an option to open the application and the application will be available under internet and we can start using it from there. And after that, once it's done, you can start using the Zoom app as well. And the last one, the last app is the Google Meet app. You can use the link that is received to you by the sender in your email. And when you open that link to the Google Meet page and you can join the meeting directly from the Chromium web browser. Once the installation complete, I'll show you the method to install Pi apps on your Raspberry Pi. So you can also install any application that is available here in the list. You can also use WhatsApp, WPS Office. All the applications are available here that is used for our daily task. So you can purchase a 8 gigabyte of Raspberry Pi and you can use it for your regular work. Now once it's complete, then I'll show you by logging into the Zoom how it work. And my camera is not connected to my Pi, so I'm able to show you what's the quality and how it work. So I prefer you to go ahead and check it by yourself and share your thoughts under the comment section. And if you face any issue, you can let me know. I'll post another solution for Zoom and Teams. Now the Zoom is also installed. Let's move to the application from here, the Pi icon and move to the internet and you can see Zoom is right here. Click on it and it will open the Zoom application in a moment. And I'm going to close the Teams from here because I'm using a 2GB version. So I don't want to hang this Raspberry Pi in the middle of the video. So let me just close it. So Teams is also here. Let me just click on it to close it. Okay, and you can just go ahead and sign in to Zoom 
from here use your google account or use your email and password if you have you can use the facebook as well to log in here on the zoom cloud meetings so let's just go ahead and close this one as well and uh, this spy app screen and here as well now i'll show you how you can go ahead and install pi apps on your machine so let's just go ahead and open the chromium and look for pi apps you will see the first website for pi apps here need to open it from here and then click on install and it will give you a command that you can use to download the pi apps on your computer before doing any step i recommend you to go ahead and do a sudo apt update and apt upgrade to upgrade and update your pi to the latest version of raspberry pi os and by doing that you will get the latest version of pi apps as well so yeah that's it for today if you like my work please hit the like button subscribe to my channel share this video with your family and friends who want to learn about raspberry pi how it work and what all good things they can do it from a pi board thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day